Hello, people. I am Javi Kuei, joined by Char Kirk. Hi, people. We're, we're looking at the trailer to Talked, as in you talked too much. Go you away. You talk too much. Uh, talked. Talked. Talked? I, there's probably a huh sound in there that uh, we Westerners can't properly pronounce unless Sorry. our names are Char or Kirk. And uh, this is the IMDb description. It says, Vicky Koshal plays Aurangzeb and Ranveer plays Dara, Aurangzeb's elder brother. It's the story about the enmity. Enmity. I've never said that. I've never said that word out loud. <laughs> Anemity between brothers. This is like an episode of How I Met Your Mother uh, about the enmity between brothers caused for the succession of the throne. Okay. This is, this is directed by Karan Johar. It's written by Sumit Roy. He did the screenplay and dialogue, and it's also written by Hussein Hedry. I read that as Hedry. Hydry. 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 Hedry. <laughs> This is so sad. It's also starring Bumi Pednikar, Karina Kapoor, and Ali Abbat. Ooh, wow. very nice cast. I, I actually didn't know that until just this second. Uh -huh. All right, well, cool. Let's uh, look at this uh, announcement trailer, and thank you, Rashi Mulokar, for making the subtitles. Here we go. Mughal shahzadun ke liye takht ka rasta apno ke tabood se ho kar jata tha. Wow. Agar ye rasta mohabbat se ho kar jata. तो शायद हिंदुस्तान का इतिहास कुछ और होता क्रिसमस ईव वे वे दस वन इज कमिंग आउट ओह गॉट यू क्रिसमस ईव या सो आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन हिस्ट्री बिफोर आई से एनीथिंग एल्स जस्ट वांट टू पुट दैट आउट देयर आई गेट दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन एक्चुअल इंडियन हिस्ट्री Okay, okay. Uh, this has Game of Thrones feels to me. Oh yeah, and that's only because they've done the whole throne thing, mm -hmm. pulling away, blah blah blah. Because the throne, obviously, in the Game of Thrones, was super important, and here it's super important as well because they're fighting for the throne. I don't know what that was. I'm, I'm just. I'm. Uh, this is totally not related to this at all. How do you all feel about Achara's eyeshadow? I'm looking at it in the monitor. It's distracting the heck out of me. I'm not a fan. I'm gonna be real. I love it. I am not a fan, but I just wanted to put that out there, and I'm just being real. How rude! But now uh, all the comments are gonna be, Achara's makeup looks wacky. D. No, everyone's she gonna be just, like, like, not wear no, makeup. No, I'm sorry, no, I like it. No, and I'm wearing green contact no. lenses, so What's I want to contrast. Can I, can I respond? No. Okay, well, people, people are gonna be like, you're crazy, Jabby. Her eye, her eyeshadow is wonderful. You should. What's wrong with you? You should marry her. <laughs> there was one comment not that long ago that was like, you're getting old, Jabby. Marry her. Uh, anyway, so back to this. Back to this. Yes. Um, I like the music so far. <laughs> this is an announcement trailer, so there's not a lot to talk about. I know. Other than the resonance of the voice narrating it. That was yeah. pretty cool. Was that Vicky Koshal? I, th I thought it was, but then... So you didn't want to say. I didn't want to sound stupid, because then it turns out it's someone else entirely. Mm. Um, it could be Ranveer Singh. Who knows? Oh, yeah. It's a it could be Anil Kapoor. I didn't know he was in this. Yeah, oh, he's in... Oh, like, look at that cast, though. It's... Crazy or maybe it was Bumi Pendakar. Maybe Bumi Pendakar put on a deep voice. I mean, she's super talented, or, so or, I think that she could pull it off. Or Ali Abad, you know, who knows? Mm, yeah. But uh, good for Vicky Koshal starring in this film with this, uh, like, his career is just... I know, I feel like, I mean, this is just speculation, but I feel like he's a bit of a Karan Johar darling right now. Because um, we just watched, stories. he was, yeah, he was in Lust Stories, and we just watched the teaser, teaser to boot. The teaser trailer. Yeah, I can't talk. Um, yeah, to boot, which is a Dharma Productions uh, horror film, and then here we're having him directed by Karan Johar in his first film directing since 2016, I believe. Okay. So. Also, I'm not a fan of the green context, just want to let you know. <laughs> God. Scaring me. Maybe I'm just not used to it. But you're looking at me, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Who's that? It's uncomfortable. Listen, I just wanted to try something new, all right? It, I mean, it freaks me out a little bit too, but that's just because I'm not used <laughs> to having this color eye. But I think it's quite nice. <laughs> Walk by the mirror like, oh, who's that? <laughs> no, I'm more like, Jesus Christ, it makes my skin look really pale. No, I was, I was on set not that long ago, and... There was this dude who had this full-on beard, and the clients were talking about shaving, and he's like, look, 
you hired me with this look. You shave it, I look like a completely different person to the point that when I walk by the mirror, I get scared because I don't know who that is. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, the green eyes. Was it Mughal Empire that was responsible for um, the, the Taj Mahal? No, or that's... Uh, it was, yes, it was Shah Jahan, I think it was. In... Because he he's the one that like cut off the hands of all the people that made the Taj yes. Mahal. Yes, but the Mughal Empire lasted for a long time. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know when in India's history this happened. I mean, this sounds like your classic drama tragedy kind of thing where, you know, people are, are cutting each other's throats to get to the top. Like, they're stepping on each other to climb the ladder of power. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is not limited to something like the Mughal Empire, but this, I feel like this has happened a lot throughout history. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, that, and it makes for such interesting... Uh, movie and literature fodder as well because there's just so much going on you know all throughout history whether it's this empire or like in the European royal families and stuff like that there's always been these sort of intrigues and murder and all of that but what was interesting to me was uh, the second line when he talks about love and so I wonder if there's going to be like a whole complicated love triangle, love square situation because we've got a bunch of lovely actresses in this as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's going to play into it somehow. Well, for, for, as soon as you said that the first thing, it, this is not related whatsoever, but the first thing that always pops into my head when, when that topic comes up is Scarface where one person's killing another person to get to this woman. That's always at the forefront of my mind because there's nothing in terms of like history or g Greek plays or whatever that comes to my brain where that happened other than like Oedipus Rex or something. Helen of Troy? Helen of Troy. I did think about that. He didn't kill anyone. They went to war. Wow. But it wasn't like, it wasn't they, it wasn't like they killed someone in their immediate circle. Mm, right. But so, they went to war. He, like, she was different. the face that launched this, a thousand this ships feels or like, however many thousand ships. This feels like... Kingslayer type stuff, like someone's getting stabbed in the back, uh, whereas Helen of Troy was like a full on. I mean, I have no, I don't know much about the history or where in the Mughal history this is taking place, but it sounds like, you know, it's all inner circle type stuff. Oh yeah. Does that make any sense? No, totally. I think you're wrong in the sense that there aren't many stories about that. No, I'm so. sure there are many, many stories, many examples. I just can't think of any. The one that always comes to right. my brain okay. is Scarface because I can't think of any that are like based on kingdoms or whatever, mm. except maybe, maybe Genghis Khan had instances like that. I mean, he had a lot of babies. The shot is of the chair. What do you think of the chair? Obviously you're gonna have an immediate comparison to the Game of Thrones chair. Do you like the Game of Thrones chair? I, I was never like a big fan of it, and apparently neither was any characters in the show. I uh, so. like what it symbolizes. Right. But between the two, if I had one in my home, I'd want that one. Well, it's a much nicer chair. Yeah. It kind of looks semi-comfortable. There's a bit of cushion there. And then... There's I, a lion I, emblem everywhere. Yeah, the lion is cool. That can't be right. I looked up the meaning of talked just to see, what, and it says skid, one of a pair of planks used to make a track for rolling or sliding objects. Talked meaning in English, or do, is the uh, origin of the word. But it doesn't show anything else in terms of, I, I was hoping that would give us more insight in, as, into what the story is about, but that's not really helping. So, what does talked mean? I think it's a Persian word. For, oh, it could mean thrown. A oh. a, a, it's, it's a Persian word for throne. That makes sense. That makes way more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, what if it was like Game of Talks? That would be so amazing. <laughs> the talked game. Oh. <laughs> Kel of Talked. There you go. Or Kel of Talked. <laughs> Ke okay. Kel, hold on, how do you say this? Kel. Kel. Kel of Talks. That just sounds horrible. Yeah, that's... It sounds like I'm trying to throw up. Yeah. But that's... Not, and, and so I'm butchering... You know, Hindi, I, I keep meaning to say this in a video. This is a perfect opportunity. It's anyone who's made it this far. I think this every time I watch a, a film that is in Hindi. It is one of the most beautiful languages in the world. And I always forget to say that. I always forget to share that feeling. Because I don't think I've ever said it in a video before. This is my first time saying it. Because for the longest time, I thought the only beautiful Asian language was Japanese. Um, maybe Mandarin as well. Because, like, J Japanese just has a beautiful sound to it, and Mandarin has a sort of 
a softness that can't, yeah. Cantonese can't compare with. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's just the contrast of Mandarin and Cantonese that makes Mandarin so, sound so wonderful. <laughs> Because Cantonese sounds like, ka, 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 ka. and so, <laughs> uh, but Hindi. I mean, other Indian languages as well sound sound uh, wonderful. But obviously, I listen. I watch Hindi films more than anything else, and so Hindi just stands out to me. It's just such a beautiful sound. Yeah, it is. I love hearing it. It's like you could be saying, "I have to go to the bathroom," and it might sound awesome and like to a, a non Hindi speaker. So, I mean, the same thing could happen anywhere. Like. In, in, in Italian, bathroom is bagno, and that sounds like a fun word to say, but yeah. you don't know you're saying bathroom. You, say, you don't know you're saying toilet. So, right. yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, if you guys st stuck it out this far, then put hashtag kale, kale of tux. <laughs> kale. kale. Kale of tux. Uh, yeah, I don't if that's even the correct word. So even if it's not, just say it anyway, because it's <laughs> hilarious. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed some of this nonsense. And check out Achara Kirk on the social media, on her YouTube channel, and sitting right next to me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, that Jennifer Sun bell icon. Uh, so we get so you we get notified. Every, so you <laughs> every get, time yeah, you watch our video. We get notified we get every time notified. we see the clip every time we see the view count. But uh, so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.